Did you get the answer? Yes, oh. ma'am. Option C. I think. Option C. Ah, C is the correct answer. Okay, I will write it here. Remaining part. So here volume will be sixteen root two into zero point one double four two times ten to the power minus nine whole power three meter cube. Okay, so it will be sixty seven point eight into ten to the power minus thirty meter cube. That will be the answer. So option C will be the answer for it. Okay, so this question will calculate the volume of a FCC unit cell gold um, atomic radius is given. So you have to know the relation. So FCC, it is a relation is two root two r. Okay. Uh, similarly, if it is a BCC structure or some else, then what you have to do? You have to do it. You have to remember this relation that I have already taught you in the last week class. You can check last week videos. Okay. So now we will go to the next problem. Copper has an atomic radius of 0.12 nanometer and FCC crystal structure and the <coughs> so here see it's given its crystal structure is FCC okay and atomic weight is 63 gram per mole compute the density of copper so you have to just calculate the density here also FCC structure so it will be 2 root 2 R so that's relation already you know and volume will be a cube okay 2 root 2 R whole cube same same only you will get it now i hope you remember this kind of problem we have did in the last class also so what is the density formula n a divided by b c n a okay so it will be small letter n will be number of atoms associated with each fcc unit cell so that n will be 4 okay and a is atomic weight it is given in the question and v the volume that you know how to calculate and any avocado number so substitute all the values and please write the answer in the chat box it's just a mathematical part but you have to remember the formula every time I hope you people are doing.
Please write your answer in chat box. D will be the answer. I hope all of you understood this question. Now we will go to the next one. An orthorhombic crystal, a crystal plane make intercept 2.93 millimeter, 4.47 millimeter and 2.35 millimeter along the three crystallographic axes and corresponding primitive vectors are 3.05 angstrom, 6.99 angstrom and 4.90 angstrom. Find out the Miller indices for these intercepting planes. Okay, so this kind of problem we have solved last week, I think second or third problem. So here what the primitive vectors are given and intercepts also given so you have to s from that you have to find the miller indices ratio okay so please try to do it and write which option is correct ma'am good evening ma'am hi yes ma'am i have small doubt for previous co question ma'am this one Ma'am, uh, yeah, yes, ma'am. Uh, here, A, are you taken the atomic na number of copper, uh, ma'am? No, which one is atomic number? We never take atomic number. Atomic numbers. weight we only. Uh, atomic weight only we have taken. That is A. That means, uh, I think, uh, reduce all the value. Got the answer for, uh, I think, C option. That's only I am no, having I some doubt. I think doubt. some others also go D option only. You see the chat box? Okay, B, C. Okay, ma'am, I will check. Okay, check no it problem. Once again, thank you. It. Okay, thank you, thank you, ma'am.
what is the answer we are getting? Did anyone say? Here intercepts are 2.93, 4.47, 2.35 and primitive vectors are 3.05, 6.99 and 4.90. So, like P, then we have to take the find the Miller indices. How you will do? 2.93 divided by 3.05 is to 4.47 divided by 6.99 is to 2.35 divided by 4.90. See, this we have discussed last class. Just you have to take the ratio, make it in a whole form. Then you will get the answer. So here the ratio will be like 0 0.96 is to 0 0.64 is to 0 0.48. So it will be 6 is to 4 is to 3. Now we have to take the reciprocal of it. So it will be 1 by 6, 1 by 4, 1 by 3. So the answer will be 2 is to 3 is to 4. So 2, 3, 4. That will be the Miller indices of the plane. I hope all of you got the answer. Can you hear me? Please anyone? Yes, ma'am. Ah, okay, okay. Please do with it and we will go to the next one.
Madam, your voice is not audible, ma'am. What? Hello? Your voice is not audible. Are you able to hear now? Hello? Are you able to hear now? Yeah, 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 ma'am. Okay. So now we will go to the next problem. Calculate the number of atom per unit area of 111 plane in an S symbol cubic structure. The lattice constant of symbol cubic structure is 3 angstrom. Okay. So it's very easy problem. You have to just do it. So what are the parameters which is given here? The plane is Plane is 111 plane. Okay. And lattice. One plane. And lattice constant A is given. That is 3 angstrom. So what you have to find first. You have to find number of atoms in that plane. How it will be. So first that. For that you have to draw the. Unit cell. And 111 plane will be the rectangular. Plane is touching here. 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 So this will be the here plane. Okay. This triangular plane. Hmm. So now it is a symbol cubic structure. And the diagonal, this value will be root 2a. So it is a like a equilateral triangle with the side of root 2a. So okay, then area you have to find area of the plane. So it will be root 3 by 4 a square. A value you already know it will be root 2a. Substitute that value. So, you will get number of atoms and area. Now, what is the number of atoms per unit area? It will be atom per unit area. So, find each answer. Okay, how many atoms will be there? And area and as well as the number of atoms per unit area. That is only the answer. You have to get it and find, tell the which option you are getting the correct answer. So, try to do it. This is the idea. Just you have to substitute the values and finish it.
So what is the answer you got? Number of atom? It will be 1 by 6 into 3. Okay. So it will be 1 by 2. Now area is how much? Root 3 by 2 a square. Now do 1 over 2 divided by root 3 by 2 a square. So it will be 1 over root 3 by 1 over root 3 a square you will get it. That answer approximately option B. I hope all of you got the same answer. Now we will go to the next problem. So it will be obtain the milliar indices of a plane having intercept of 2 over 2a, 3b by 2 and infinity on the crystallographic axis. But where a, b, c are primitive vector of the crystal. Okay. So it's very easy problem. Intercept will be 2a, 3 by 2 uh, and infinity. So take the reciprocal and make it simplified. You will get the answer. So please write what is the answer in chat box.
this very easy problem 340 will be the answer now see the calculate the inner planar spacing d of a plane 111 in a simple cubic crystal that is constant is given so it's a direct formula you know already how to do it is d is equal to 1 over h square by a square plus k square by b square plus r square mm, sorry l square by c square so it will be a divided by root of h square plus k square plus l square okay substitute the values everything is given just tell the answer which one is the correct answer
What is the answer you are getting? Your option will be A. Option A, ma'am. Five. Answer will be A. Now we will go to the another problem. In the tetragonal lattice, A, B, C values are given, and the last is space in between one 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 plane. Here also same. D you have to calculate. Please do. It.
Ma'am, once explain, ma'am. Hmm? Once explain, ma'am. What is the answer? Um, here, answer is 1.16b. So, I will write it here. Here also the formula will be d divided d is equal to root of h square by a square plus k square by b square plus l square by c square. Here we know the tetragonal system a is equal to b so that you can write it at h square plus k square divided by a square plus l square by c square. Just substitute all the values you will get approximate at 1.16 Hope you all got the answer is just substitution. Okay. Now we will go to another one. Okay. The problem is an element crystallizes into FCC crystal structure with lattice constant to angstrom is 24 into 10 to the power 23 atoms contain 0 0.2 gram of this crystallographic element. Calculate the density. Why these extra details are given number of atoms and kilogram to calculate the atomic mass. Okay. So number of atom This is like you have to remember just uh, like history point of view here in this problem. So it will be like number of atoms is equal to number of moles into Avogadro number. Okay, now number of atom mm, like number of moles you can write it as weight divided by atomic mass into Avogadro number. Okay, now calculate weight is given number of atoms given. Have got a number you know, calculate the atomic mass. Then density will be mass by volume. And this also FCC structure, so you can. Okay. So do it and let me know what is the answer for it. Okay.
please solve it and write the answer for which option it is. The defense will go this problem. Here you could have get the end zero point zero five. Kilogram that is 50 gram and density substitute mass by volume, then you will get 200 into 1.66 into 10 to the minus 27 divided by 
वन फाइव इंटू टेन पावर फोर किलोग्राम पर मीटर So it is like an element. What are the parameters that are given here? You have to find the density. So first, you have to calculate the number of atoms. Here, number of atoms we cannot directly calculate. So they have given the details like um, total number of atoms in a 0.2 kilogram. So that you have to calculate number of atoms per unit. That will be number of moles into Avogadro number. So number of moles will be weight divided by atomic mass into Avogadro number. The substitute weight is given. Um, atomic mass is given, and any values. Okay, then we get zero point two. So this will be from this. What you have to find here? Atomic mass. Okay, a value. Number of atoms is given here already. Twenty four into ten to the power twenty three. Weight is also given. Avogadro number is given, so atomic mean mass you will get 0.05 kilogram. Then substitute that here mass by volume, you will get the answer. Now let us go to the other problem. Zinc has HCP structure. The Height of the unit cell is 4.94 angstrom. Nearest neighbor distance is 2.7 angstrom, and the atomic mass is 65.38. Calculate the density. Everything is given straightforward formula. Please try to do it first. So here the height is given C value. It is 4.94 angstrom. Nearest neighbor and distance it is 2.7 angstrom. Atomic mass which is given 65.38. Okay, density you have to calculate that is mass by volume. So mass is not given. So you have to what you have to do? Effective number of atoms. 
into atomic mass divided by volume this direct then it will be n m divided by volume n is you can already calculate it's a hexagonal cluster system so 12 atom into 1 by 6 in the sides okay plus uh, 2 into 1 by 2 in the faces then 3 so it will be total 6 okay now what it will be density 6 into 65.38 into 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 27 kilogram divided by it like uh, volume right volume will be base area into height so base area will be what 6 into there are 6 triangles are there so each triangle side is root 3 by 2 a square so it will be root 3 by 2 a square area into c okay now substitute the a value it is also given 2.7 and find the density
What is the answer you got? Did anyone can tell which option is correct? So you will get the answer option B. Okay, so try to substitute everything. So let me see. You will get the answer option B. Now we will go to the next problem. Next, second and plain lattice. The transition vectors are given. T is equal to 2A plus 3B. Where A and B are the primitive translation vector. And the magnitude are 2 angstrom and 3 angstrom respectively. The angle between A and B is 5 that is 120 degree. Determine the magnitude of the translation vector.
did anyone got the answer for this so here listen carefully this is one of the important question okay so the translation vector it is given 2a plus 3b okay so a vector its magnitude is given 2 angstrom b vector its magnitude is given 3 angstrom and angle phi is equal to 120 degree so just let us draw first so this is a vector b the angle is 120 okay then what will be the translation vector so a vector and 3b vector so 3 into 3 angstrom so it will be 9 angstrom here 2 into 2 angstrom it will be 4 angstrom the translation vector it will be root of a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta substitute the value a square will be 9 square 4 square plus 9 square plus 2 into 4 into 9 into 120 cos 120 so the answer you will get the root of 61 that will be 7.81 and that will be the approximate answer that will be your translation right After that, we will go to the next problem. Okay, we will go to the next problem. The determine the angle between one one zero and zero one one directions in a cubic crystal. Okay, so see here we are solving different kind of problems in the same topic. Okay, so you should know about all these kind of problem because you can expect this kind of problem in your exam. So different way how we are solving it. Okay, so there is a formula actually. Cos theta is equal to HH dash plus KK dash plus LL dash divided by root of H square plus K square plus L square into root of H dash square plus k dash square plus l dash square okay h h h k l is the first one h dash is the, h dash k dash l dash is the second just substitute you will find the cos theta value then find the theta value that is cos inverse of it you will get it so it's an easy problem but you have to remember the formula that's it so please do it
सिक्सटी डिग्री मैम सिक्सटी डिग्री get the answer 60 degree just substitute it i'm not going to solve it uh, it's very simple just a scale value you have to substitute you will get cos theta is equal to 1 over 2 from the theta is equal to 60 degree see next problem nickel as the lattice parameter 3.52 calculate the planar density 1001101 planes so we already solved how to do the calculate i mean calculate the atomic planar density in last class i hope you all are remember it is just density is equal to number of atom per unit area but in the plane each plane so you have to do 100 plane and 111 plane and as well as 110 plane also. So try it first, then we will solve it.
the number of atom uh, in this 100 zero zero plane it will be 1 by 4 in, into 4 plus 1 so total 2 number of atom then area will be a square so density rho will be 2 by a square substitute the value you will get it One point six one into ten to the power nineteen atoms per meters. Similarly, for one one zero plane also, the number of atoms will be two, and area will be root two a into a, like the diagonal diagonal root two a and a, so it will be root two a square. So density will be root two divided by a square. Substitute the value, you will get the answer. And similarly, here it will be number of atom will be 2 and area will be root 3 by 4 into root 2 a whole square. So, it will be root 3 by 2 a square. Then the density, in Japanese, the plan of density also like this. Okay, it will be density will be 4 by root 3 a square. Substitute the a value, you will get the answer. Twenty-eight point six. Hmm? Twenty-eight point six. No, one answer is. One answer is one point six one. Uh, one point six. And another one is one point uh, one four. This one. Okay, one one point one four into ten to the power nineteen. And here it will be 1.86 into 10 to the power 9.
Ma'am, once again you tell me, ma'am, how to take root three by four, root two a whole square, and like this one only. Once you explain, ma'am. Yeah, it's like it's a triangle, right? This plane means it's yes, a triangle. So the triangle one side is what the diagonal of a one face, one face. Okay. So this is a, this is a. So the diagonal will be root two a. Okay, no more. Ha. Then it will be root three by four a square. That is a triangle area formula. So that in the place of a, you have to substitute root two a is square. That's it. Okay. Okay, no more. Okay, thank you. Ma'am, next class you can explain uh, sodium chloride, diamond, and zinc plant related problem, ma'am. Which one? The series or explain the crystal structure, ma'am. No idea for sodium any chloride. problem. What, ma'am? Which one you want to know? Sodium chloride problem, right? Sodium chloride, zinc plant, and the diamond like that. Yeah, actually, I have. Yeah, why means the third assignment? Everything will be uh, the problem is there, ma'am. See, there are actually more problem. I have included sodium chloride, but I don't have time to take today. But I will. Okay. Slowly, I will okay. Next today. class, ma'am. I will. I tell you next class. Okay. okay. The problems are diamond okay. problem and all are there, but slowly we'll take. Like I can. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, so this is done. So we go to the next one. Calculate the linear density along the cube bed's length, facial length, and the body diagonal of FCC units so structure with side C.
so here you have to know that this crystal structure very well okay so um okay linear density means what that is equal to number of atoms per unit length okay so the direction will be what are the different direction here 1 0 0 plane 1 1 0 1 0 plane 0 0 1 plane there are 1 1 plane and etc okay so first we will select linear density of 1 0 0 plane so the number of atom will be half plus half divided by a it will be 1 by a okay now linear density in 1 1 0 plane 1 1 0 plane means what the below plane here okay so here atom will be what the corner atom will be there and face ended so can face ended atom will be there so corner atom there are two atoms so half into 2 plus the one face divided by root 2a so it will be uh, root 2 by a okay next one is linear density 1 1 1 plane 1 1 plane you know already the, the triangular plane okay in the triangular plane how many atom will be there if it is a triangular plane three corner atom plus each face atom so it will be like half plus half divided by root 2 means root a square plus root 2 a whole square okay so it will be 1 over root 3 so that is the solution
okay so this question with this question we will end up the class so listen here till now you are solved about the normal uh, lattice parameter and all now the x ray um, we are solving to with the xrd so x ray beam of wavelength is given it's diffracted by a cubic kcl crystal of density which also given calculate the interpanel spacing for 200 plane and the glancing angle for the second order reflection from these planes okay so molecular weight of kcl uh, is 76.8 am so here what you have to do x ray diffraction wavelength is given so crystal is given its kcl is similar to nacl and density is given so interplanar um, spacing that is d you have to calculate okay then you have to find the theta angle also um, so here molecular weight is given and now you have to, and here is a, it's a cubic crystal structure because it's similar to nacl so your aq will be like volume Mila, a cube will be n m divided by rho. So that substitute everything four into uh, seventy four point six into one point six six into ten to the power minus twenty seven divided by uh, one point nine nine into ten to the power three. Okay, then you will get a cube value six point two nine into ten to the power minus ten meter. Okay, now the planet distance that will be a divided by root of h k square h square square, h square plus that one h square plus l k square plus l square so it will be a by 2 okay that you can get a 3 point uh, that will be 3.115 angstrom okay now the bracket you know 2d sin theta is equal to n lambda so sin theta is equal to n lambda divided by 2d substitute all the values you will get 0 0.4610 from there you can get the theta value it is 27.5 degree okay till this we have solved but there are more, more problems but you can get the uh, this presentation through your nptl uh, link 
so please check the nptel class you will get the presentation and how i solved also there are some more problems some more means there are a lot of problems so we will discuss in last class but you can try also then it will be easy to me to discuss in the class okay um, so we will see you in the next class bye